What do you think it is? What well, what do I think it is? Well, this, well, this is a hair. I don't know. It's kind of like. Um, have you ever been to Cheltenham? Yes. Have yes. you seen the the one in Cheltenham and on yeah, Montpellier? Yeah, but the, the ones sat on the bench. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. oh, dare you to have like, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, you are. Hey, that's what you. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. You're gorgeous. What's your name? Tamara. Tamara, I'm Lenny. It's nice to meet you. Bye. Honestly, when you go out and about, you meet some awesome people. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, as much as I don't like drawing attention to myself, it's um, it's one of those things where when someone does stop to chat to me, I'm quite happy to talk to them. And then they'll always ask me what I'm doing, having my camera out and stuff. And uh, just intrigued and curious. So yeah, it's quite... I don't mind. I, I don't know why I feel so self-conscious. Something that I need to get out of my head, you know? The DJI Osmo Action 4 recently got an update with two new features and the firmware also fixed a couple of bugs, but the new features are highlight and pre-recording. When I was little and my grandma used to pick me up from school, whenever I got to her house, as soon as I walked into the kitchen, I always knew what was for dinner, just by looking over the cooker and seeing orange peels hanging up, drying out because with those, she used to make real hot chocolate. And if we were having real hot chocolate, it meant that we were having this dish called Johnny Cake and Acra, which is really popular in the Caribbean. Depending on where in the Caribbean you are, it's called different things, but I'm from Dominica, so it's called Johnny Cake and Acra. But with Johnny Cake and Acra, we used to have real hot chocolate and I absolutely loved it. It had spices, it was made with real cocoa and oh, it was just amazing. So. I don't know if that is why I absolutely love hot chocolate now, even though whenever I have it, it's never the same. But even that being the case, Costa had just come out with this maple hazel latte and uh, I'm obsessed with it. Normally I'd go and get hot chocolate, but the maple hazel latte is what is on my radar right now. Can I get a maple hazel latte, please? Yeah, with whole milk, please. So looking at highlight first, when you start recording your video, you can now use the quick shot button to essentially add markers to your video clips, which are called highlights. You can also do this whilst you play back the footage on the Action 4. And to do this, you'll now see a little diamond icon when the footage starts playing and you can just tap that at certain points that you want to highlight. So that when you go into the Mimo app and you go to the playback menu, you'll now see a tab called highlight that has all the marked clips so you can easily find the footage amongst everything that you've shot and then when you open that clip and you hit the edit icon when you go to trim you'll see the markers which is great because then you can quickly trim the best part of your clip and then export that snippet if you've got several highlights within a clip you can just repeat the process for each trimming the snippet you want and then exporting that snippet and that's how you can extract different individual clips from the main original clip. You might think that it looks the same as Favourites because Favourites also has its own tab in the Mimo app and you can mark your clips in the playback view on both the camera and in the Mimo app and you can tell that a clip is a favourite by the little heart. But unlike highlights, favourites can only be done during playback and you're just favouriting an entire video clip. But like I mentioned earlier, highlights lets you mark the clip whilst recording and add several markers to one clip. So it's more targeted and specific than favourites and helps to organise your footage ready for editing. <laughs> If, like me, you like to draw as a little attention to yourself whilst you're vlogging, one of the really cool features of the Action 4 is the fact that you can have one of the screens off whilst the other screen is on. So, like, for example, now I've got the front screen on so that I can see myself, but the rear screen is off, so anyone walking towards me can't see the screen, even though they can see me. So I don't know how that helps me feeling more secure in vlogging. <laughs> but one of the things that it is useful for is that when you're using it as a POV camera, so I had it down my top. I forgot to bring my mount for the um, uh, mounting it on my chest. But when I had it down my top and it was facing out, just getting my POV footage, I had the front screen off so that people in Costa didn't see me filming, if that makes sense. Because when you have your camera on, people will tend to look at it, it draws more attention to yourself. And then people will tend to think that you're filming them, even though you kind of are, but yeah, it's just one of those things that really helps with 
just not feeling so self-conscious when you're vlogging. So that is a feature that you can switch on and off in the menu system and it's well worth doing. Anyway, back to what I was originally saying. So the second new feature is pre-recording, which you'll find in the same menu as loop recording. If you don't know what loop recording is, it essentially makes your Action 4 act like a dash cam in that you can record clips in specific durations. And then as your SD card runs out of memory, it'll overwrite the older clips that you can always record regardless of whether the SD card is full. So pre-recording on the other hand, essentially starts recording before you press the record button. And the duration is gonna be determined by whatever you've chosen. So you have 5 seconds, 10, 15, 30 or 60 seconds and for as long as pre-recording is on it'll continue to capture the duration of the footage that you've selected before you hit record. So if I choose 15 seconds and then I go about my business and I think oh this might be the shot, previously you'd hit record and wait for something amazing to happen that you could capture and then if it didn't then you've just wasted space on your card but now you can hit record when the action happens and know that you didn't miss it because it was pre-recorded. The only thing that you would want to be mindful of, which is really from an aesthetics view, is that when you go to press record, don't get your hands in the way of the lens, otherwise you'll ruin your shot. What an enjoyable little wonder that was. I've got 36 seconds left on my SD card and 29% left on the battery. So do you know what? Considering I got here two hours ago and I've literally been using it since I got here, the battery has lasted a decent amount of time. Catch you later.